All right, guys, we are officially one week away from the new tenant moving in. I got almost all the floor done. I am 99.89% done. I got to do this last trip, but tomorrow I'm going to film that for the YouTube video because I'm doing the how-to install up against an exterior door. Anyway, this is what we got done so far, and should be able to wrap that up tomorrow and the quarter round. All right, that's what's going on here in Gallatin, Tennessee. Holla. Our next order of business was to get these cabinet knobs installed. I actually used to install cabinets for a living years ago. And when installing knobs, the way I was taught was to pull three inches from the bottom. And then when pulling for the center mark, be sure to measure in between the front profile, not the whole rail. That's gonna look pretty good. Now my first two holes, I go ahead and drill those through, but for the rest of them, I make a template and I set it behind one of the doors I've already drilled. Now I'll drill a hole through that and this will be my template for the rest of the doors. Now the reason I don't just run the drill through here is because after you do a couple of these over time, it starts to wallow out your hole, so your hole gets a little bit off center and it's not good. And as you can see, I'm using a nail as opposed to a screw because that screw will also wallow out the hole. This makes just a very slight hole right there. It's perfect. So guys, what had happened was when we came in, there was a piece of crown mold missing over here on this side. And they had the 17 inch one on the corner cabinet. There was just like the splice was missing. And I looked everywhere for a piece of oak quarter round that color to try to match it up. And I didn't have any. So, but I had this other quarter round, it was like a tan color. So I decided it didn't go with that at all. So what I did was spray painted this black because I had done this in installs in the past where you put black crown and black light rail on dark, uh, lighter cabinets. And then I spray painted the um, knobs with metal paint here too. So that way it kind of ties it all in. I think it looks pretty good and it was a solution to that missing piece of crown over there. All right, finishing up these knobs. Well, the time for the steps has come. Now we talked about many ideas of how we wanted to do the steps and we had a lot of great ideas, but ultimately it came down to price and time. So we went with carpet. Now keep in mind, I am not, I repeat, I am not a carpet installer. However, today I'm installing this carpet. I have done this two other times. One day it took me two days and the other day, it took me all day. So, I figured, what could go wrong? Oh, hey, good, good morning. So, we stayed late last night. Uh, <clears throat> I got the carpet pad put on, but we didn't start any carpet. So, I'm putting a tax strip on because Kelly took off my tax strip last night. I usually put it on first. 
and then put the carpet, but I had to work backwards, but that's what's going on today, so. The guy's moving in today, so hopefully we can get these things wrapped up. That is the goal. stick around and watch me do this so I'll finish these up I'll get back with you Hey, what's up guys? So here I, it is the afternoon. It's actually right before noon. It's 11.18, but I wanted to show you how far I had gotten on my stairs. Uh, I needed actually a stair tub tool because all I had was this plastic thing. Uh, I used to have two of them. I had a couple crews back in the day, but somebody broke into my truck and stole. So I was gonna uh, bullnose these, but like, this guy's moving in in like less than six hours. So I figured waterfall is not gonna hurt anybody's feelings. And that's what we're gonna do right there is I'm just gonna waterfall these. So as you can see, I started tucking them in and getting them real tight into the tack strip right here. I think I'm gonna just continue doing that all the way up and then leave it loose like this. And then I was able to form like a riser out here on the end and just wrap it around and staple it. And that's the route I'm gonna be going. So, stay tuned. I'll be back with an update on this one for sure. All right, guys, holler. So we had some regular spindles here, the round kind, and they, these guys had these holes pre-drilled, and I tried every I, every effort to try to match up these holes, but they weren't on the same layout. So I got this idea just to go down and grab some two by sixes and rip them down and make two by twos, and this is what we're going with now. So we got us some spindles, and it's a lot easier to level them because they're square. Here. Uh, you guys remember the original walkthrough of this one? Got a little cleaning supplies to take care of. There's that. 
the stove, clean refrigerator, boom, bang, boom. Beautiful flooring. You guys remember this floor. Remember what it was in like 35 pieces of subfloor? That's that bathroom in there. In the water heater area. Looking nice. And we did the handrail today. Here's the neighbors. Oh. Oh, you guys remember the old ratty vanity. There you go guys, there's the after, you guys saw it before, it's been a long time coming to get to this process, but we are here, thanks for watching, there's that. That's it. We're out. See you next time, folks.